According to a UC San Francisco study, when elderly adults stay active, their brains have more of a class of proteins that strengthens the connections between neurons to retain healthy cognition. Even in persons whose brains were plagued with toxic proteins linked to Alzheimer's and other neurodegenerative disorders at autopsy, this protective effect was discovered. Our work is the first to use human data to show that synaptic protein modulation is related to physical exercise and may generate the good cognitive results we detect, said Caitlin Casaletto, PhD, an assistant professor of neurology and the study's lead author. Physical activity has been demonstrated to improve cognition in rats, but it has been considerably more difficult to establish in humans. Casaletto, a neuropsychologist at the Will Institute for Neurosciences, collaborated with William Honer, MD, a professor of psychiatry at the University of British Columbia and the study's senior author, to use data from Rush University's Memory and Aging Project. This study followed the physical activity of older individuals in their latter years, who also volunteered to donate their brains when they died. Because the synapse is essentially where cognition happens, maintaining the integrity of these connections between neurons may be crucial to fending off dementia, Casaletto added. Physical activity, which is a cheap and easy technique, could assist improved synapse functioning. Better nerve signals with more proteins. Honer and Casaletto discovered that elderly persons who remained active had higher levels of proteins that help neurons communicate with one another. Honer's earlier findings showing people with more of these proteins in their brains when they died were better able to maintain their cognition later in life corroborated this conclusion. The researchers were surprised to see that the effects extended beyond the hippocampus, the brain seat of memory, to other brain regions involved with cognitive performance, according to Honer. It's possible that physical activity has a broader sustaining effect, supporting and encouraging the healthy function of proteins that help synaptic transmission across the brain, Honer speculated. Dementia-prone brains are protected by synapses. The harmful proteins amyloid and tau, which are hallmarks of Alzheimer's disease pathology, accumulate in the brains of most older persons. Many experts believe that amyloid builds up first, followed by tau, causing synapses and neurons to break down. Casaletto previously discovered that synaptic integrity appeared to decrease the link between amyloid and tau, as well as tau and neurodegeneration, when evaluated in the spinal fluid of living people or the brain tissue of autopsied adults. This cascade of neurotoxicity that leads to Alzheimer's disease appears to be mitigated in older persons with higher levels of proteins linked with synaptic integrity, she said. Taken together, these two findings suggest that preserving synaptic health could help protect the brain from Alzheimer's disease. Thanks for watching.